So we are reading from Sri Sri Vilapa Kusumanjali, verse number 39. O Mriga Shavakshi, Fawn Eyed Girl. When can I beautify your chin? That is the abode of Mukunda's bliss. With a drop of musk. Mm -hmm. O Mriga Shavakshi. Mriga is a deer. Huh. And the deer has a, a story in the neighbor. A story, what you say? Musk. 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 So it's so smelling to him that Mirga is searching in the forest. This is the meaning of Mirga. You only find searching for the musk, but the musk is living inside you. This is the meaning of Mirga. Like Understand or not? Krishna is inside you. But you are searching in the forest to him. He is not far from you. Like a mirga had inside the mask, but he is smelling outside where is the is smell coming. But this smell comes from inside of a deer, Mirga, and he is searching in the forest where his smell is coming. That is the nature of our Mirga Lakshmi of Radhika. Om Riga Shavakshi Fawn Eyed Girl When can I beautify your chin? That is the abode of Mukunda's bliss with a drop of musk. <clears throat> During a transcendental vision, Sri Raghunath in Swarupa Vesh hangs disc shaped hairpins above Srimati's ears. And now he proceeds by placing a musk drop on her chin. Yeah. 
When the vision chin Many things not to explain, to understand. When the vision of placing the hairpins disappears, Raghunath Dasa laments. The pain of separation that a jata prema devotee feels jata prema devotee is a devotee whose love for krishna has awakened so the pain of separation that a jata prema devotee feels is very intense, no doubt. But Srila Raghunath Dasa Goswami is in the kingdom of Mahabhav, far beyond that. When the devotee reaches the stage of Rati, he gets visions of the Lord's forms and qualities. And he experiences great transcendental ecstasy. But when the stage of prema is attained, there is not so much bliss felt from perceiving the Lord's form in a spurti anymore. The mind then becomes greedy after something even more special. That is the attainment of the Lord's Direct darshan. You know, spurti means what? Little flash comes, come and go. When prema arises, this flash notion is You want to be with that. They always want to meditate in that, always living with that. That is a darshan. And his Quran must come and go. But his Quran is very good sign. When his purti start coming, then prema is arising.
Beliau is Quran. What you will say in English? Smash light. Like a lightning flash. Lightning flash. Then, when it starts happening, then more desire is happening to be a few more than is a prima arising. I want to be always a Light is not satisfying my heart. Just coming and going, not unhappy. I want to be with you. Go on. But when the stage of prema is attained, there is not so much bliss felt from perceiving the Lord's form in a spurti anymore. Again. I will come back one line before. When the devotee reaches the stage of Rati, he gets visions of the Lord's forms and qualities, and he experiences great transcendental ecstasy. But when the stage of prema is attained, there is not so much bliss felt from perceiving the Lord's form in a spurti anymore. The mind then becomes greedy after something even more special that is the attainment of the Lord's direct darshan. Shiragunadasa is on the level of Mahapav. So his heart is always filled with great eagerness to see the Lord directly. Between spurti, visions, and sakshat darshana, direct seeing, there is a medium stage which is called sakshat karakalpa or Vispurti. 
a more vivid kind of spurti. All the transcendental visions of Sri Raguna Dasa are in that category. Both in his external consciousness and during transcendental visions, he is focused on Sri Radhika's lotus feet. Yeah. One point. When we come one pointedness, this is the Rati. In Sadhak they are and our street. Wherever, sorry, both in his external consciousness and during transcendental visions, oh. <laughs> he is focused on Sri Radhika's lotus feet. Wherever there is a full surrender, there can be no question of a division of interests. There is no other desire. To divide it. 50 percent, 20 percent, 10 percent, 100 percent is sad that they have fixed on No division. Understand? <clears throat> Full heart. Yeah. The perfection of prema cannot be attained by thinking. I will give something to my body and my family and the rest I will give to my beloved deity. Everything must be surrendered to the lotus feet of Ishtadev. Yeah. Gopinath explained this. Could you, could you please repeat the last sentence? Yes. Where, wherever there is a full surrender, there can be no question of a division of interests. 
The perfection of prema cannot be attained by thinking. I will give something to my body and my family and the rest I will give to my beloved deity. Everything must be surrendered to the lotus feet of Ishtade. Hmm. What, what comes to my mind immediately is Gurudev's life story. When he came to Vrindavan, he surrendered everything to Radha Mohan. He never looked back at his uh, life as a royalty. He never looked back. That's what he has also told us. He was one pointed. And I also see in front of me that picture when he shared with us in many occasions how he took initiation diksha from his beloved Gurudev, Sri Radha Babaji. When he appeared again in his life and Radha Babaji told him that I already gave you initiation when you were five years old, but now I came to revive that. And he asked Gurudev, when you want to take Diksha? And Gurudev said, now, in this very moment. And this is, I feel, uh, our Gurudev is the most beautiful example of it, what it means to surrender everything to his uh, Ishtadev. Because the moment he took Diksha, Gurudev many times shared with us this very intimate experience a darshan he had how param gurudev took his body his spiritual body and walked up the stairs to the temple and placed him in front of radha mohan and said now i give you a new servant and from that moment onwards as we know and have heard from gurudev yes he had surrendered everything he was totally one-pointed in the service of Radha Mohan. And by his mercy, he's showing us also the way how we can surrender. In whatever circumstances we are, it doesn't matter if we are in family life or if we are alone or if we have responsibilities. If we know the goal, if we are one-pointed, we always see Radharani's lotus feet in front of us. Then this one-pointedness becomes more and more condensed. And then maybe at some point the spurti will come and we will long to get more. We want to have more taste of this. So I just felt to, this just came to me. And when you have to do, you have to bother it. When your boss has to do, why the servant has to bother? Boss has to do, why I have to, I have a problem. What she will do is the best for me. All is favorable. Why to bother? Then you don't want to live in the mercy to in his, her mercy. So surrender means nothing to bother when you surrender. This is not your responsibility, it's the responsibility of your boss. How she keep you. That is the Radha Das. Buddha, you said you, you came without a penny. Without a penny. And I live with Buddha without penny. 
although because not to be in proud, I was eating in his kitchen and sleeping in the floor in the room of Purve. Nothing, I have nothing that time. Even one day I have no medicine to buy for two rupees. And I'm smiling that I have no money, two rupees to buy the medicine, then somebody bring and give to me. And that was the area. And Mataji also see, see, see me and smile, and I see and I smile to her that we have no two rupees to buy the medicine. And we are very happy. And hundred four viewers, and is smiling in that time. She smiled to me, and I smiled to her. You can imagine two rupees. Because we surrender, we don't bother, and it happens. Will come viewer. You how you want to keep me keep. Why to bother? And this this was the best time in my life. The test of surrender. And to live in that beauty and feeling is the best time. That session, my life. How I am yours, how you want to keep me, I am happy in that session. Shri Rakti. Surrender means I'm not the doer, I'm viewing now. I'm, I'm doer for only for you, not for second one doing for you. I can serve, I can do for you. I will see and I will do for you. One point in me. This is surrender. When I will see you, I will do it. I will feel it that this is you to serve, I will do it. In any service, if I feel that to do, I will do it because I see you there. Nothing for me, everything for you. And for me, everything you give me because you are with me. That is surrender. Why I will bother for myself? I surrender. I surrender to my spiritual master. I surrender. I surrender by his guidelines, by Gurudev Mahasi navigation. In the lotus feet of Radha Rani, I surrender. And he said to me one thing, never go out from Vrindavan and not go out from this temple. Always in service. Sri 
Sai. Sai to do. And you all are helping me. So your mercy is favorable for me. That is family. Your family is Radha's. Her family is the real family. Genetic family can be possible for material purpose, okay? But the spiritual family, it is working here. And when we go there also, we will help each other. So, this is great mercy. Selfless self. Right? Yeah. Everything must be surrendered. Must be everything, everything, A to Z. Nothing that A, B, C, D will be for me and other I will surrender. No. Everything, A to Z. No percentage, 20%, 80%, 80% I surrender, 20% for me, nothing. Everything surrender. This is surrender. Everything must be surrendered to the lotus feet of Krishna Dev. <laughs> and how to surrender in Krishna Dev? <coughs> that Gurudev teacher. How we teach? Because surrender is very difficult job. <coughs> I'm very dependent. How I will surrender? In love of Gurudev, his love make me to surrender. Now. And when I surrender, <coughs> I, I feel the beauty of surrender. <coughs> and I get the <coughs> taste of that surrender. Wow. <coughs> then it's nothing more beautiful than that. <coughs> Yeah. You will be free of every tension. There is no tension left to, to bother you. Because false ego, your existence is not there. Problem happen when my false ego controls her. And surrender means to control, to the surrender to my false ego. My false ego not want to surrender. Me. <coughs> 
क्या बोलिए क्या बात है हमने ये कभी नहीं लगा 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 रहे रहे उससे 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 नहीं नहीं होगा होगा वैक्सीन बीमारी अभी आ रहा है हाँ एवरीथिंग मस्ट बी सरेंडर to the lotus feet of istade that the point. and i have to learn this from guru dev mm-hmm. and i have to see how he surrender if he no surrender not possible to come in my life A devotee must take shelter unequivocally. And what? One point. One point. Many pointed not surrender. One pointedness makes surrender to you. what point and one pointedness is rare to come in life it comes by the grace and desire my faults is go so much heavy that is not ready to accept this tell i am jumping in ignorance and passion when we are not staying in the Sudha Sattva, I mean, pure goodness and pure goodness. We have to keep ourselves in goodness and pure goodness. Automatic, you will not be interested to control by falsehood. this is all self realization means self watching this is the practice is spiritual practice self to see what inside what is going on in me we searching to not to others this searching myself which condition and position i am living and what is the reason of my suffering can you it's not more move outside it moves inside inside my Inner watching, 
inner realization, inner development. Nishkapate na bhajinu toma. Shinarutam dasa says. Oh Lord. Place a nishkapat. And one is kapat. Outside I become very pure devotee. And inside is many wishes and desires are there. What you say? Hippocrates in English. And Hindi they say Kapati. Kapat. I have two faces, three faces. So what you mean is no Miss Kapat. Not one face, in and out has to be one face. Right? Read. Niskapat na bhajindi. Niskapat na bhajinu toma. English. Shinarotam Dasa says, Oh Lord, I did not worship you. And equal without hidden motives. You see? Mm. I have a hidden motive for doing to you, praying to you. I was not selfless. I have a hidden motive to achieve something from you. Right? Wow, so good. <coughs> if there are any other motives within the heart, it is called deceitfulness. <laughs> Cheating tendency, Guru. Yes. What would, to whom you are cheating? To whom I am cheating? Myself. I am not cheating to you, I am cheating myself. Who has to change? I have to change myself. Right or not, my dear friend? <laughs> that is the beauty. When I start changing myself, then I reach to the myself, Sarupa identification. If I don't want to change myself, my Sarupa become covered that I cannot see this. I covered myself to my Sarupa. You hear me? It's okay. My spiritual relation and form. Yeah. Guru Te, one time I heard that we think. God is watching us from above, but He is watching us from inside. 
are in the form of Chaitanya. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Chaitanya Guru is sitting and watching you. Are you what you are doing? Making me fool. But I know what you are doing. I am looking. And yeah, if I am really honest, life is more easy. See that also. And that's his spiritual life. Outside changing is not changing. Inside not changing. Hmm? I give up. Huh? Mm. Who's there? Huh? Something to pay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Huh? Oh Lord, I did not worship you without hidden motives. If there are any other motives within the heart, it is called deceitfulness. You see? Clear to you? Who will remove? Guru they will remove. You have to remove yourself. मेरे अपने आदमी मेरे लड़के I can see Raja Baya is missing. Hmm. <laughs> now they're coming on to you in the basement. Yes. You understand? Without being free from ulterior motives, the prema sadhana cannot be done. Yeah, oh, oh. <laughs> Other motive, love cannot come. <laughs> Try to now. There are no time for love, no reason for love, no season for love. <laughs> and love happens sometimes, 
and it comes to some time. You don't know when when the time will come for that drive to rise inside her. And to realize and feel that, that is the best time. And other motives are there, then we never realize it. When we are free of all motives and desires, then we feel it. Maybe it takes 30 years to feel it. But we feel that moment. <laughs> that is the must. The day and moment we feel it and live in that, in the <coughs> feeling and tears of that love. Right, Avant? Right, Radhe Radhe. Guru Dev, do we have to be surprised by the love? Is it only as a surprise? Can we seek it? Yeah. When the all motives finish, then love comes. <laughs> Impurity that increase in life. Asking if it comes as a surprise or we have to search for it. No, it's surprising. <laughs> this is the surprising. We what we search, we cannot search. It is blessed. Love is a blessing. Mm. The moment I feel it is a surprise for me. So I hope. <laughs> Sometimes we are so blocked we cannot see, and the blockage go out, it surprises us. Without being free from ulterior motives, the prema sadhana cannot be done. Yeah. The desire for distinction no, is no. a this, 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 repeat this one. Without being free. From ulterior motives, prema sadhana cannot be done. For that we pray all Vaishnava, for the mercy from all Vaishnava, that you help me, that my ulterior other motives finish inside me, that I can feel it. Understand? So this is the, not that only senior devotees. Every Vaishnava, every living being, we have to pray to clean my covering, clean my alternative motive. No, this we pray for all. But when they will come in my life, that I can see it, feel it, leave it in that. Yeah. Yeah. One is Chaito Dharma Marjanam, and one through blessings can also. Be cleansed 
Seto darpanam marjanam done we respect and pray to all Vaishnava. <coughs> how much I will clear and I will see it is only possible with marjanam to feel it. Because I am so covered with the dirt that I cannot feel it. My ego, I got heavy to me. Ignorance is heavy. And when I clean myself, I see, no, no, no. It's only depend the breath of the Vaishnava that I can easily clean it. It is either like a no need to bother much to clean. There's no need to make some chemical or something. It automatically, little walk, rubbing and it cleans. No college spray. No. No, too much bothering for cleaning. It's automatic. I rub and it cleans. Why the mercy of Vaishnava has been to magic? Cheto darshan magic. Oh, Bada, Bada is problem. Automatically, <coughs> yes. The desire for distinction is a great enemy of the aspirant. Wow. Desire of distinction. Yeah. You Thank are senior, you. you are junior, you are higher, you are lower, you are nothing, you are bogus. This is very big up brother. Never you can. All are greater than you. I have a mistake in my vision not to see right thing. This is by the cleaning myself I can feel it. You know? Understand or no? And it's that you have to explain to my Rasmadri. So you have no time for me. Two hours, three hours you take. You have to take one line from Japan. They translate it. You have to keep the phone. Yeah. Uh, Japan. Yeah. Even a person oh. who has renounced you want to wait. Everything. Oh. Even? Even a person who has renounced everything. Ah, like me. But desires are not going. <laughs> yeah, same. Yeah, yeah. Even a person who has renounced everything may desire <laughs> to touch <laughs> the hog stool of the desire for distinction. My God, stool! <laughs> hog stool. <laughs> 20 years I do this, Yal. <laughs> I'm running to touch the stool. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. 
the mercy come to me in 16 that I this desire I finish. Trap me. Ah. My desire gone. Radharani slapped me. This desire is still running. You leave your family, house, and this, that. And then again you desire it. This is true. You have to finish, then I will give you permission to stay in Vrindavan. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Everything he did. Sometimes I smell from my eyes, my nose, my ear, my every part where the things are coming out. Is there some good smell is coming or not? It's all is stinking. <laughs> and then I go to the toilet and I smell too soot. Kaka is also ugly. <laughs> Nowhere it's coming in. Good flavor, yeah. You see, I have so many perfume with me always. <laughs> to clean, see? You will not imagine, I show you. One, two, three. Oh, all other perfume and Gopinath give to me always. My and all perfume I am putting after every one hour that I leave in the flavor of Radhika. Come out from the flavor after desire of stool flavor smelling coming. Is it crazy or not? You are not satisfied after this, you see. Beautiful flavors. The best flavor of Radhika is there. You understand? <clears throat> this shows you want this flavor, uh, stew flavor. You know? This is the song. Always keep this. Don't bother. <laughs> That's why you are putting it. <laughs> Live in this. <laughs> What others say, don't mind. Live in this flavor. Don't go in dirty flavors. It, it just covers everything. If you are intelligent, you will understand. <laughs> If you are foolish, you will never understand. <laughs> <laughs> Leave with one flavor of Radhika. <laughs> It's all flavor, some day, some flavor, some day, some flavor, some flavor. Is a Krishna attraction, different, different flavors he has. Sunday, this flavor, Monday, this flavor. Even the kunja has different flavors. Wow, And my God. We go to the But all my flavor yes. is a musk flavor. It you has. see, even the she was searching in the forest, where is my Krishna? But Krishna is inside you. <laughs> Radhika, Krishna never go out. Your Krishna. Yeah. Why they put the pin in the hair? Because this is Krishna, black. So she put the pin in the hair that she cannot see the Krishna. It's not come to the eyes to him. Mm. Meaning of pain. You know.
for searching the food the paper. You search more. Where is it? If you see the many black you will say it's right there. So put the pin. Wow. Understand? And we'll have to sort of go to the saying that out of her mind, her hair are growing. So her hair are black because in her mind is always this black guy. You see, is a growing hair. Only thinking to one point to black guy is growing. Hair is always so. This is one point. And we are so full of desire, so we cannot want to be one point. Are you work? Who said to not to work? But work for her. Work everything, what work comes to you is her. She is giving the work. Why not you see that? Mother is, she give you mother, she give you father, she give you husband. Not see the mercy, fighting with that. Fighting with your Easter day. If you fight with what the gift you got. <laughs> So even a person who has renounced everything may desire to touch the hog stool of the desire for distinction. My God, what hog? I am a great scholar. A I am very qualified. Big 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 <laughs> I am very famous. <laughs> I am absorbed in bhajan. My God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the best. That's for biggest too. No, do my dear. We have to be very careful. And this has come only by the blessing of Vaishnava. No mercy, I cannot realize it. In the mercy of all of you, it happens. Life change. Right, my dear brother? You agree or not? Huh? Yeah? You agree or not? He's a big Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Pray for me also that I no run run for this biggest to bless me that I, I can protect myself. I want to be a student only, not a teacher. Every moment is to learn the other. Life is to learning is the best life. These desires are called Pratish Tasha or desire for distinction. 
and there is no greater obstacle to the development of devotion than that. This desire is like a band of pirates that enters the boat of sadhana and robs it, dragging it down to hell. In his mana shiksha, Shiraguna Dasa writes, O oh mind, the shameless dog eating woman of the desire for prestige, distinction, and position is dancing in my heart. Again and again, three times. <laughs> How can beautiful, pure love of God ever touch it then? No, repeat here. Yeah. Two times right. for me. Oh, man. The shameless dog eating woman of the desire for prestige, distinction, and position is dancing in my heart. Oh, mind, the shameless dog eating woman of the desire for prestige, distinction, and position is dancing in my heart. How can beautiful, pure love of God ever touch it then? Therefore, always serve the matchless Leading devotees uh -huh. who are so dear to the Lord. Have to the devotees. You are protected. You can protect. No other can protect from this. It is said the Mahatma words. Read again. Oh, mind, the shameless dog eating woman of the desire for prestige, distinction, and position is dancing in my heart. How can beautiful, pure love of God? ever touch it then. Therefore, always serve the matchless leading devotees who are dear to the Lord so that this Pariya woman can quickly be chased out of the heart and love of God may enter in it. Yeah. Yeah. Do not endeavor. This is the words of realized soul. Wow. Do not endeavor for the false, like profit, adoration, and distinction. Always think 
of Radha Mohana's lotus feet. Yeah. All calamities will then go and you will become very happy. Yeah. This is the greatest cause for loving devotion. Yeah. One pointed surrender cannot take place when we keep on pulling between different interests. I am Shirada's maid servant. I don't have a relationship with anyone else. This kind of loyalty will awaken in the heart of a pure independent devotee Shiraguna Dasa falls on the bank of Radhakun and weeps. What to do? How to become Shiradharani's beloved? That must be learned from the Acharyas. Tulasi is in the kingdom of Leela. Holding a cup with musk in her left hand and a brush in her right hand, she stands before Swamini wearing her leftover glistening blue sari. Swamini mercifully gave her the sari because she was very much satisfied with Tulasi's service. How beautiful she looks in it. Seeing Swamini's playful eyebrows and eyes, Tulasi calls her Mrika Shavakshi, fawn eyed girl. She holds the cup with fragrant musk close to Swamini's nose so that she will remember Mohana's bodily fragrance. While her eyes that extend to her ears move around restlessly. Hearing is showing the restlessness of Radhika. Because the hearings are very restless. You see, when you move the head, the earrings are moving. She 
We no need to talk with what is happening inside. The earrings are standing are restless. Uh, yeah. Today is up to here. Next Saturday, three the more than meditation is important. Very important. This very nice you find it. Zramani Priya, she chose. And also Everyone has to find potions if they have some potion for next Saturday. Okay? Kriya? Anything to ask? Ramani. Mogu. Okay. Mogu i na engleski, ali je bolje bolje da kaže na hrvatski. Okay. Možemo ti prevesti. Ja ću ti prevesti. Sad Maharaj. Ti si ti si ti si više nego sunce. Toliko si iskren. Toliko si iskren da ja ne vidim ništa blještavije na horizontu. Ni u sebi, ni bilo gdje. I razvaljuješ sve tame koje sam ja pojao kroz sve filozofije. Stavi, čekaj. My sadu Maharaj, you are you are like a sun. More, more. More than a sun. You are so shining that I cannot see any, any of my darkness that I swallowed through different kind of philosophies, your shine is coming through all of those and breaking it. This is not my anything. This is not our animals. Coming through Gurudev to me and I share you. My, I have no qualification. I don't know much. Without mercy and grace of my children, and the mercy flowing from her daughter's feet to Gurudev to me. Ali ta svjetlost ide baš kroz tebe. Ja je samo kroz tebe vidim. Vidim ovdje velike bahte. Velike bahte. Ali ja vidim tu tvoj udar. Ne samo svjetlosti, nego slatkoće. Slatkoće. Tame, tame, tame razvaljuje mi zajednju opciju vlasti i lažnog ega. Što ja znam s tebi. I see many beautiful and big devotees here, but through you, Gurudev, I feel this, not only the shy, 
shyness, but the ray of sweetness that is totally breaking me apart. <laughs> it's all Vaishnava mercy. Vaishnava mercy. Okay. <laughs> Father is a mercy. <laughs> you tried. <laughs> Falati, 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 falati. Any more questions? Gurudev, I have one question. Yes, yes uh, 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 to the service of Radharani when there are so many manjaris and kinkaris already. Mm. Yes. There are many. After that, she, she is requiring us. There are many services. And 24 7, we want to do that. There are many services, many, many services. It's a divine empire of God. This divine empire is not like a material world, it's a divine empire. Where the Prabhupada is also there, where Narayan Maharaj is also there, and Anandas Bhavaji is also there, my Gurudev is also there, all their associates are there, and after that, more and more requirements are there. Many, many Mahatans are there. All there, and they are searching more and more. Come, come, and they feel very proud when they go. One of them, they decide to work for them. They feel proud. Prabhupada will be feel proud when you will do this, and reach to him. This is the fortunate service that we will be always with Divine reward and we will not come and go back and take birth and suffer and we will leave with that Divine place in the service. It is a real thing to do taking human life, this life, next life, any life, but we have to decide to do it. Right, my dear? I'm very happy to see you.
your whole family is being proud of all of them. Sanatan wife is also. Thank you very much, Guru. Oh, I am oh, very happy. Proud of you. I'm very proud of you. Thank you. Radhe Radhe. Radhe Radhe. Okay, so much. I yeah. <laughs> oh, <that's> very nice. <laughs> yes, Gurudev. <laughs> this is what you said about spiritual family. This is <laughs> but, true. So nice, so good, happy. <laughs> Radhe Radhe, my Guru Dev. Guru Dev. I miss you. Guru Dev. I love you. I love you. Rasa Mai. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Asama is a famous. <laughs> Don't put me in the stool, Guru Guru <laughs> <laughs> there, one question came from somebody. Should I read? Yeah. So, uh, al pade al pe de la luna is asking Madhurya uh, Rasa Gopinath Baya. I have a question. Few lines before it is said, this kind of loyalty will awaken in the heart of a pure and independent devotee. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can you please ask the Guru Dev to say something on this word independent? <laughs> Thank you. Can you read the line? Read the line. Of read the line. Yeah. <laughs> One second. Ah, ha, ha, ha. I, so one pointed surrender cannot take place when we keep on pulling between different interests. I am Shirada's maid servant. I don't have a relationship with anyone else. Mm -hmm. This kind of loyalty will awaken in the heart of a pure 
independent devotee. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Pure, mm -hmm. free from other blockage, who depend on only in Radha. <laughs> Not dependent in other things that mm -hmm. depend uh, depend only for her, so she is independent with all the blockage. Understand? Please say fine. One pointed surrender cannot take place when we keep on pulling between different interests. Yes. <clears throat> I am Shirada's maid servant. <laughs> maid servant is fully dependent on you. Understand? Go on. I don't have a relationship with anyone else. This kind of loyalty will awaken in the heart of a pure, independent devotee. Means who is not depending in other desires. He is free from other desires. He only depends on you, mm. not in other influence he is depending. So he is a totally free. He is totally depend on you, independent. He is not influenced with others. You understand? He was very much pending to other things. Now he is independent from that, free from that. Mm -hmm. Clear? Mm -hmm. huh? She's translating the she's saying. As a Dasi, I am free to serve you. Rather, Dasi is only depend on you, not is in, independent when uh, he is clutched with other problems, depend on other things. He's free for your service. Clear? Rasa. Madhuriya Rasa. But Dasi Bhav is there, that I am your Dasi and I am not can do to you because I have so many blockages. No, I am very free to serve you. No touch to me. Anything. 